Hello friends. Does your child get scared while jumping, skipping, going on playground equipment? Even sometimes getting off the bed is a difficult movement. Why? Trust me, your child is not lazy, but because they have an over-responsive or overactive movement sense. That is why even regular movements become difficult for them. Let us discuss how you can overcome your child's gravitational insecurity. Let us start at the ground level where we try to walk on a wide strip on the floor or you can also use a white tape. Later on, a thin strip can be used for the child to balance even further. And without falling, they have to walk on it. Next, make them practice walking backwards, first on a wider strip, then a thin strip. Later on, you can try to raise the platform from the floor, maybe about half an inch or so initially, not so high, and keep increasing the height as you go. Obstacle crossing is important for learning stair climbing. So crossing a very thin obstacle helps initially. Later on, a higher obstacle can be used. Climbing up obstacles and down, first one step at a time, followed by alternate steps. And then you can increase the thickness of the obstacle. While standing on an obstacle, make the child practice both stepping down and jumping down the obstacle. Multiple obstacles can be used where first the child has to take one step at a time to cross the obstacles followed by alternate steps and finally stepping on the obstacles only to balance themselves. Which can be done both forward and backward. Once your child has practiced the obstacle course, let them go to the real stairs where they hold the railing and try to take one step at a time followed by alternate steps. And when they're confident enough to leave the railing, make them practice one step at a time again before proceeding to alternate steps. Ball games really benefit these children, but make them practice first in the sitting position and roll the ball towards the child. So first they can try to roll at the ground level, then try to throw at the chest level, at the face level, and finally overhead. Other activities that can help these children are trampoline, yes, but try to provide with a railing support so that they can hold on to it while jumping to increase their confidence. Also, they can sit on the gym ball with feet firmly on the floor. And after that, they can perform rocking movements or you can help them forward, backward and sideways before they try to lift their feet off the floor. Toilet training might prove difficult for these children. So in order to overcome that, you can provide a kind of a small stool or a step on which the child climbs before sitting on the toilet seat. The feet can then remain on that step and you can provide some kind of railing or support on the sides so that they feel more confident. Make the children practice hidden object games in a book so that they use visual scanning, visual tracking. A foreground background discrimination skill can be practiced which helps in overall balance as well. Also, a general physical hidden object games can be played with them. Hiding things under a chair, over a chair, on a high surface where they have to climb and retrieve the object, all of these will help. When you take these children to the park, they might feel dizzy watching even other children go on merry-go-round slide swings. So for example, you can ask them to simply sit on a swing without producing any movement so that they feel comfortable with the seat that it's hanging in the air there is no support let them have their feet on the floor let them become confident before they start the movement also blindfold based activities help these kids a lot 
simply standing with a blindfold or trying to walk with a blindfold in a certain distance helps them to regain their sense of balance. These kids are scared of slides, so why don't you create a make-believe slide, you know? putting cushions or pillows against the bed so that the child can try to slide down over there. They feel more secure because it is closer to the ground. And the final aspect of these children could be motion sickness. They would not prefer to go on scooters or bikes or even cars. So what to do? Make them sit in the front in a car, for example, so that they can look ahead. Also, putting some pressure on the head and the ear sends to help because the sense of movement is in the inner ear. Also, closing the eyes sometimes, that visual blocking also helps to avoid that giddiness. And once the travel time is complete, you can help them to lie down for a while just so they can overcome the overwhelming experience. I hope you found this video informative and if you did, please like the video Subscribe to the channel for more videos related to autism awareness and child development. Also, leave in the comments below if you have any queries or suggestions for me. Ring the bell icon for notification and we'll meet again soon. Bye.